Welcome to Unit 7, where we are talking about conics. In conics, we're going to talk about parabolas, ellipses, circles, and hyperbolas. So, let's get started. Lost my pen. Okay, there it goes. So, we've got six things to talk about in this video. We're going to first learn the standard form of the equation of a parabola, and we're going to learn that for every type of conic we do. We're going to figure out the characteristics and graphs, same thing for every conic. Um, we are going to practice a real world problem. We're going to write it in standard form, so if we are given it in just uh, um, if we're giving it in like expression form, how do I convert it to standard form so that I can uh, determine characteristics, graph, blah, blah, blah. What if I am given just the characteristics? Can I write the equation back and potentially graph? And finally, what the heck is a tangent and a double named cone? All right, so the first thing I'm gonna start with is the standard form of the equation. This is the standard form of the equation. It will be provided for you on the formula sheet. However, I recommend that you copy this down um, and truly get, you know, get used to this because this is the only information on the formula sheet, maybe even less. In fact, more than likely, this is the information on the formula sheet. And um, it doesn't really help you if you don't understand what each of these are. So I wouldn't just copy these down. I would also make a note. And in fact, I said more than likely, I guarantee you this is what's on the formula sheet. I know this is on the formula sheet. So if you notice, there is an important uh, differentiation here. We have went too far. We have vertical and we have horizontal. And so if you notice, the only uh, there's some big differences here. The vertical has your X on the left-hand side squared with the H and the Y with the K, whereas with the horizontal, the Y is still with the K, but it is what is squared on the left-hand side and the X is with your H. And it doesn't matter left or right. I was just showcasing it for you, but really it's if vertical, then X was squared. If it's horizontal, then Y is squared. The vertex doesn't change. It's always going to be H comma K. But if you notice with the focus, what happens uh, with your focus, your H is by itself, but you, it's K plus the P value. In the horizontal, it's H plus the P value and then just your K. Down here, your axis of symmetry depends on which direction you are. So if I'm vertical, I'm H. Um, I'm X, then it's my axis of symmetry has to be X equals H. If I am horizontal, then I am looking at Y and its partner is K. So I'm going to look at its axis of symmetry at Y equals K. And finally, down here, your directrix is going to be the opposite of your axis of symmetry. So if this was X, then this must be K minus P. And if this was Y, then this must be H minus P. So I know these are brand new, might be brand new variables for you or concepts for you, but just kind of can you grab a pattern and can you compare and contrast? So. Now let's actually determine characteristics and graphs. So if I'm given this parabola, y minus three squared is equal to negative eight uh, times x plus h, x plus one, then go ahead and identify the vertex, focus, axis of symmetry, directrix, and then we're gonna use that to graph. So look at my equation, very cool. There's some information that we need. We need to know what three and one and negative eight all represent. So why does this look familiar? Because we saw it in the standard form uh, formula chart as well. So the next thing I need to figure out, is it vertical or is it horizontal? In fact, it was horizontal because we had Y being squared. So I'm gonna use that part to fill out the rest. So let's fill out our table. I brought down my formula chart, I mean my, my formula into my formula chart. So now let's grab the variables. Isn't this, isn't this just my K value right here? And isn't this just my H value right here? So I'm going to pull that K value out. And if you saw it as a negative three, then you're gonna see it as negative K. Or if you just see it as Y minus K, then you're gonna realize that it was positive three the whole time. So what I mean by that is if this had said Y plus three squared, then your K value would be negative three. So just please be aware of that. Make sure you're paying attention to the format of your standard form. Your P value can be calculated. A lot of people might make a mistake and say P is negative eight, but remember it was four times P. So you have to solve it back, basically divide by four. And so our P value is gonna be negative two and our H value isn't gonna be positive one. It's gonna be negative one. So I fill out some information since I know my H, my K, and my P. There's my vertex. I can solve for the focus. So go ahead and solve that out. And I get negative three. I can plug in my axis of symmetry and I can solve for the directrix. So I go ahead 
and solve that out. Ta-da, I have some information, but how the heck am I gonna graph it? So let's first plot those points, okay? I'm gonna take all these things and I'm gonna put them on my graph. These are coordinate points, that's pretty easy. And these are lines, so again, that's pretty easy. But they're not visible lines, so we're gonna mark them as that dash, 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 or dot, dot, dot. These were, this was the information, this is where that stuff came from, and we know that it's going to be horizontal. So, you know, is, I'm going to graph my parabola this away or this away. That's in essence what they're asking. Is it horizontal or vertical? Because P is negative, we also know that the parabola must also be negative. So if it was um, horizontal, negative means it's going to open to the left. Positive would mean it would open to the right. If it was vertical, Negative would mean it opens down, and positive would mean that it opens up. The vertex tells me the lowest point, and why is that in parentheses? Because since this is facing to the left, my lowest point is actually going to be that rightmost point. But basically, you guys know that as the vertex is, you know, here's my parabola coming in, and boom, where does it hit the left and the right hand uh, curve? Where do they hit at their lowest point? Okay, the focus is it's going to go from the vertex towards the focus. So that again, proves to us which direction we're going. The focus, focus will be exactly equ equidistant from the vertex as the axis of symmetry is. So you're gonna have a, a pattern on both sides. Okay, the axis of symmetry will cut, sorry, I meant the directrix. The axis of symmetry is gonna cut your uh, vertex in half. So these numbers should match right here. They should always match or vice versa. If it was your X value, then your X values would match. And finally, your directrix is going to run opposite of your axis of symmetry, and it's going to be equidistance from the vertex. And so what I mean by that is, and you're going to see it in just a second. So if I've got a vertex here, and it, let's say it's a vertical going up, then the focus must be here. The axis of symmetry must be here, and the directrix must be here. That's in essence what we mean. So let's actually visually see that with our values. So I plot my vertex, I plot my focus. Hmm, there's proof that we're gonna open to the left, but let's keep going. I plot my uh, axis of symmetry, it's going straight through it, it's cutting it in half, and then I plot the directrix. The directrix will be, will never be inside your parabola, I'll put it that way. The directrix will never be inside your parabola. So if it will never be inside my parabola, then this cannot be the way I'm going. So let's see the direction I am going. Ta-da! And if I wanted to know that this was absolutely perfect, A, I could check it myself using a graphing calculator, desmos.com, blah, blah, blah. Google itself is a graphing calculator. Technically, you could have plugged in that equation and gotten it. Ta-da! We got it right. But if I wanted to make it perfect, 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 I wanted a very precise graph, I could always make myself a table. So there is that. Now it's your opportunity to answer a question on Moodle. Are you ready to graph and solve a parabola yourself?